Ariana Barrett, Tutor for the Soul, stopping in to talk about how to shift and change. But before we get into that, we're going to have to play the YouTube algorithm here. Um, if you like this video, please click like, and if you love the content of my channel, please subscribe. It'll help me do more videos. So let's get into it. How do we shift and change? And I've learned this one simple technique. It's very powerful, and I offer it to you, give it a try. To say either out loud or quietly to yourself, I am open to change. I am open to change. And really sit in that space. Because when we put that intention out, when we put that energy out, we then create the attractor field for it to come in, the things that we need to see, the things that we need to learn, the things that we need to understand, and the things that we need to uncover. And it's not easy when that information comes through at times. So be gentle with yourself, be vulnerable, and take the time to process what you need. I say it from experience. You know, there's certain things that we want to change in our life or about ourselves. And when we open up to that information coming through, and it can come through in many different ways. It can come through in meditation for us. It can come through um, through a sign. Uh, license plates always talk to me. Uh, they don't like talk, talk, but the message is on license plates. And I was in my car driving. I heard a song, which made me think of someone because it was their favorite song. And the car that passed me on the left, the license plate was Live to Forgive. <laughs> How you even get that much information on a license plate with seven symbols or, or letters or numbers is beyond me. But it was Live to Forgive. So it was a very powerful reminder to me to forgive. Um, the situation, the circumstances, the person, there's so much involved in that. So I say be ready for it. Be ready for the information that comes. So again, it can come through in meditation, what you need to know or hear. It can come through in different signs and symbols. It could be an animal. I've been seeing a lot of cardinals lately, male cardinals, that very bright red cardinal, uh, which is leadership, but also uh, connected to my dad. I can feel that and I've never felt that before. Um, so symbols, so license plates, animals, things that show up, messages, uh, connecting to someone who does healing work or a therapist, um, allowing yourself to go deeper. We can pay and pay for sessions and seek out the best of the best, but unless we're open and willing to really hear it and see what's there, we will block it. We will block it, right? And that's, that's defensive. That's trying to protect ourselves, because sometimes we don't want to see things. But it's important to get to that point that you you can see things and that you're ready. And, and that's what I say, be, be kind to yourself, be gentle to yourself, be vulnerable. Being vulnerable is actually a power. I, often it's, it's seen as a weakness, but it, it actually is a power. It is very powerful to be vulnerable and to expose the parts of yourself that need some love and need some healing. So there are a lot of different ways to receive this information, to receive these messages. But the first step is saying, I am open to change. I am open to change. And watch what happens. Sending you so much love and light on this healing journey. I know it's not easy. I, I'm not exempt. <laughs> I've been doing inner work for 20 something years. I get it. And, and there's just, there are more layers and we go deeper, but we get clearer and there's, um, there's an understanding and when we're ready to hear and see the things we need to hear and see, we will. Sending you so much love and light and looking forward to connecting again soon. Bye.